When, when um, you won the Champions League, it's the holy grail that uh, Roman Abramovich always wanted. Mm -hmm. And so we thought then that he'd give you a five-year contract and he'd say, go on, R Robbie, lead this club onwards and upwards. But it never, we never got the feeling that things were stable from the following season. Well, I'm, I'm not sure whether, you know, five-year contract actually is, uh, means anything these days, you know, because it's normally you have a clause in there, you know, with 12 months uh, exit clause or something like that. So I'm not sure it actually means anything. But um, but it's a public sign of support, though, is what Cammy's saying, isn't it? It's publicly him saying, look, we well, think you're going to be able to do this for five well, years. Well, you know, in, in, in the modern game, uh, you need to realise that uh, you need to win games. Uh, it's as simple as that. If you win games, you get the support. Uh, if you don't, uh, you know, you don't get the support. I mean, we've seen it this season again with uh, how many clubs have changed manager mm -hmm. um, because supposedly they haven't won enough games. But know. interestingly, what, considering what you'd managed to achieve and what you'd done uh, that previous season, would you have liked to think you'd get more time when you were in the Premier League and, and you weren't winning the games that you needed to win? No, certainly. Certainly because I, I was trying to change a little bit the the way the team was playing in the, in the new season, you know, uh, trying to install a little bit of more f flowing football, uh, you know, with uh, three attacking uh, offensive players and, and so on. So I was trying to change a little bit, but you know, that needs a little bit of time. Certainly you hope and you, you would like to have a bit more time, but look, you know, we're all realists here and we know that, uh, you know, when you work at the big clubs, you have to do those changes while you're winning because mm. otherwise, uh, you know, people just don't have the patience anymore, maybe, to, to wait. So was it a shock then when, when you were sacked? Well, it was and it wasn't, you know. I, um, I kind of um, knew that it was going to happen, uh, maybe a few days before, so um, I was, but in, in the same time, you know, I, I kind of knew that it was going to happen, so. But I'm very grateful for, for the time I spent, I mean, um, I, you know, I've, I know how to win trophies. Uh, I know how to manage a big club. Um, uh, I have um, a great experience from that, and uh, and I'm still a very young man. And mm. uh, you know, Champions League. Uh, there's not many managers that uh, that win that in their career. And uh, I've got it. I've got it in my back. And it's been a fantastic, uh, fantastic experience. I have to say. If you, if you could go back and do it again, would you change anything, particularly for that last season that potentially could have kept you in the job a bit longer, do you think? Yeah, sure. I mean, I, you know, I was trying to, to make a few changes, um, but I, I, had a, I had a clear vision of what I wanted to do. And, uh, and uh, I, you know, I, 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 want to, I wanted to install my philosophy, or my, philosophy, my way of playing the team in a certain way. And, uh, you know, if you if you want to make mistakes, make your own mistakes. Uh, don't make other people's mistake. But I still feel, you know, we we were certainly in, in the in the league. We were still doing very very well, mm. and uh, we were still uh, in in the cup uh, in the Champions League. You know, if, if you go out with ten points, it's 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 bad. But you know, it's not like you go out with three points, and there was still the Europa League to play for, and uh, so a lot of things uh, going for it. But. Uh, the experience I've gained from doing what I did, uh, it's invaluable. Yeah, of invaluable. course.